I'm riding this the bicycle for uh, about 30 minutes. Before Rosalie Johns had a new procedure to treat atrial fibrillation, there's no way she could have spent time in the gym with her husband, Darwin. My heart was beating real hard and I got real dizzy and shortness of breath. At first, episodes of this irregular heart rhythm happened every month or so, but then they struck almost every day. It was like a freight train, you know. Thundering through her chest, her symptoms continued to get worse. An involuntary thing like breathing seemed like a extreme effort. Seeking help, Rosalie went to Mayo Clinic, where she met with Dr. Fred Kusumoto. What you're looking at here is the x-ray or the fluoroscopy of Miss Johns. You see, atrial fibrillation is an erratic and often fast heart rhythm caused by a misfiring of electrical signals. For the past decade or so, doctors have used radio frequency ablation to stop the chaotic heartbeats. It works by scarring tissue, which interrupts the misfiring electrical pathways. But it's not perfect. Sometimes the signals can start up again. Now they have another procedure that for many patients may work better. It's called cryoablation, scarring the heart tissue with extreme cold. Very cold, uh, minus 60 degrees. During the procedure, Dr. Kuzumoto runs a catheter from the groin to the area of the heart where the arrhythmia or bad heart rhythm originates. Once in place, he deploys a balloon that freezes the area. The resulting scarred tissue stops the pathway of the misfiring signals. The analogy I use is uh, sort of wild mustangs. If you imagine this atrial fibrillation is wild mustangs, we make a big corral that keeps the mustangs within the corral and doesn't allow them to come out. A procedure that worked for Rosalie. It has been a miracle, I'll tell you. She went from not being able to enjoy normal activities to hitting the gym with her husband. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.